It's Marty for North Channel Charters. I'm on top of my Siren 17. I'm just going to go over the electrical installation that I've done in uh, the past couple of weeks. So this is my setup. I have two batteries, an on-off switch, a charger controller for the solar panel. And this is what the back looks like. Two batteries hooked up together, so I have a 12 volt system. But main power comes into the switch. That's off, that's on. You hear the fan start. So that's off. All the grounds go to this. That ground goes to the ground of the batteries. This is my charge controller. It uh, goes to the plug that I have on top of the cabin for the uh, solar panel. Then it goes directly to the batteries, or one of the batteries, which will charge both of them. I've stuffed my wires up underneath here. Let's see here, stuffed under, underneath there. My main power line going back is a old extension cord that I had, and everything else is wired with speaker wire. This is garbage, it should be cut off. I still have cutters. Let's go take a look. Oh, here's my uh, uh, one stern light. That's an LED light. I'll show you what those look like. These are the LED lights that I used in the boat uh, for the bow light and the stern light. They are coming a pack of 10. I think this is $7. They work great. Plenty bright brighter than what the old light bulbs were, that's for sure. This is my electrical panel. Down is off, up is on. You see I've got labeled steaming lights, so that's my stern light and my bow light, anchor light, cabin light, auxiliary A, auxiliary B, and fans. It's these little fans here. I've used the little fans. Uh, they're just muffin fans. They just help move the air around in here. Really don't move a ton amount of air, but they move enough to make it worthwhile. My wiring job there going underneath that trim piece again. This is a bit of a mess. We just got back from the Thousand Islands, so, and I'm leaving again in a day to uh, go to the North Channel. Anyways, my lights here. This is a light from Princess Auto. You can see inside that it has a LED, uh, I guess, board there. So it's an LED light, it uses hardly any power. Same as the other lights, the balancer lights. I've got wires that go up through the cabin top here. These are one for the, the mass light, the anchor light, and the other is for my charging, my solar charging. This is my solar panel. Uh, and let me show you the plug. This is the plug. One green wire, one yellow wire. I'll show you the plug up top now. You'll understand green and yellow in a second. On the kitchen top here, I have a trailer uh, plug, four wire plug. White and brown are for the uh, anchor light and the green and yellow, they're for the solar panel. Solar panel plugs in here. I hook the solar panel along to the sides or set it on top of the cabin and it, uh, it uh, charges. Down at the end of the mast, you can see my anchor wire coming out. It goes through the mast up to an LED bulb up here. And there's my anchor light. So that's it. I think I used uh, just about 50 feet of uh, speaker wire, maybe 100 feet. I don't know how big the roll was. Uh, so that was probably 100 feet. And yeah, it's just that simple. The batteries are tied down. They're in their own boxes. Uh, they're tied down together. Uh, come on, just do the straps. Open them up. 
open them up and see how they're hooked together. And that just ties them down. And when I'm uh, when I'm motoring, I typically keep the the gas can out here. Just I don't want the cabin to smell like gas if I'm even staying in the boat. If I'm not staying in the boat and the boat's uh, at the yacht club for any amount of time, I keep the gas can in here, strapped down there, and I run the, the line up through there. I've got to get a better plug for that. That's how the water gets into my boat. Okay, so that's my uh, electrical system for my Siren 17. I've also got... Uh, I haven't hooked it up yet, or installed it. My outboard motor charges the battery as well. So that would just be a simple two lines going from the outboard directly to the battery. I'll have a plug system, so that plug it uh, in. But I just haven't hooked that up yet. I don't need the, the extra charging. The solar is fabulous. It works great, charges everything up perfect for me. So I don't really need that extra. And I hardly use any power with the uh, because of the LED light. Fan sucks up the power. Turn this on. The one fan, anyways. Okay. AOX one or A. This fan. The rattle trap of a fan. Uh, cabin light is on. Yeah, that's nice and bright. Here's those little fans. Move a little bit of air. All they need to. Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Click with the clicky thing, subscribe, do all that stuff.